uh, Steve Ashburner, NBA.com. Uh, Spolster was in here a few minutes ago um, talking about you know, the bonds you guys gained and the things you went through in this postseason, uh, even lessons that civilians could take away from seeing a team that might have been counted out and overachieved. Uh, are you guys too bottom line to appreciate that kind of stuff, uh, or is that something that in the months and years to come you're going to look back at this run as something special? Uh, you know, first and foremost, you know, congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. You know, great franchise. You know, great team. Um, you know, they 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 deserved it, and uh, you know, they beat us fair and square. Um, you know, I think we go and and uh, you know, it's a special bond in it with this group. Um, you know, we uh, we were led by one of the best basketball players on this earth, and he instilled confidence in us. And you know, it's kind of one of the things where you don't know how we're going to feel and what we're going to think right right this moment um but you know we'll look back at some point and uh say hey it was a great year a great run but right now just uh can't even think about that right this moment we're gonna stick to the left side fifth row jimmy nick friedel espn you've always learned something from every year since you've been in the league what will your biggest takeaway from this season and this team be? Probably how how grateful I am to be able to compete with these guys. You know, you never know what the team's gonna look like next year or the year after that. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm just grateful. I learned so much. They taught me so much, and I wish I could have got it done for these guys because they they definitely deserve it. Um, but the one thing that I, I'm gonna take from it is how grateful I am to be able to compete with them. Uh, I know it's tough to look big picture right now, but just can you describe uh, what the last four years have been like and just finding a team in the city that you can call home? It's been great. I've had some hell of a teammates come through here and compete with me um, and give us the opportunity to win a championship, um, which I still believe with everything in me that we will do as a team here, as an organization, as a city in Miami. Um, the four years have been great. Um, it's always great to be wanted and loved and appreciated. And I don't think that that's going to change. Um, but for the time being, like I just said to Nick, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm grateful, man, that we made it here. Um, came up short, but I, I'm blessed. I'm fortunate. Left side, first row. Hey, Jimmy. West Lenny, WorldWideWest.com. Um, uh, you guys won the turnover battle. Obviously, you, also, you guys also had more steals in this contest. What stood out to you in that final stretch, maybe like two two minutes there? Uh, did I turn the ball over? That's what stood out. We're going to go to the left side, second row. Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. Jimmy, I know you're not one to make excuses, but after that ankle injury in the second round, how much did that kind of affect you moving forward as the postseason went on? The zero. Um, my ankle's fine. We just didn't win. And there, there's no excuse. Um, they beat us. I, that's all I got. Left side, fourth row. Steve Ashburn, NBA.com. 51 points, first half, 38, second half. Um, how much of that was you in the last two quarters? You guys, how much of that was uh, what Denver did after halftime uh, to bog you down? <laughs> Take it away, Cap. Uh, I think we still got good looks. Um, I think our pace was great. You know, I think uh, they uh, they made shots, and uh, we you know we we didn't get out of transition as much as we wanted to. But I mean, we shot 34 percent or something like that, and um, we got some good looks and just missed them. Left side, second row. Jimmy, the scoring was down in this series. This has become very much of an offensive league, even though you guys very much succeeded with a gritty kind of game. Do you think that's something in the offseason maybe you have to look at a little bit more? Uh, the way this, tr this stats trended all season was of a low-scoring team. Do you think this team needs to add a little bit more on that end going forward, maybe to make it easier after a series of failing to hit 100 like you did in most of these games? No. Um, we just missed shots. That's, that's what this league is about. You know, we, we make two or three more shots 
that's what it's been for us all year long. Um, I think we did enough to win. Uh, you know, you guard well. We're still in position to win. You don't have to score 100 points to win a basketball game. Um, I think we'll be okay. You know, that's um, Coach Pat and, and Coach Bo's job to put together another team, which I'm confident that they will do. And we'll take it from now. Left side, six row. Jimmy, there was a stretch there where Kyle looked like, you know, the champion he is, and he just started making plays. Was that inspiring for you at all? It seemed like after that, you found another level. But just watching him do his thing, what was that? What did that feel like for you? Uh, it was the norm. He's been doing it this entire series, uh, this entire year, and since he's been here and been my teammate. Uh, you know, we follow his lead. We follow Bam's lead. We, we follow everybody. You know, you play basketball the right way. You attack. And um, it looks good, but we've seen it time and time again. It doesn't motivate me anymore or any less. Um, I know he's a champion. I know he wants to win. And whatever he's out there doing, it's to win. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, for sure.